Wrightsville kids, I'm Pastor Julia. When I was in school, in elementary school, like a lot of you probably are, I had a teacher who used to give us shiny gold star stickers when we did something really good. Do you know what I'm talking about? We would get them for days that we brought all of our books or did something kind to someone else. You'd get a gold star as a reward. Or maybe you haven't had a gold star, but you've had a different kind of prize. I remember my dance studio used to give out these pretty blue ribbons if you had perfect attendance. And later on, I was a cheerleader and there was a trophy that you got if you won the competition. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I've always really liked winning prizes like that. If it was a gold star or a fancy pretty ribbon or a trophy, that makes me feel so special. Have you ever won something like that? It feels great. And if you have, then I hope that you enjoy it. And I hope that if you have a goal to win something like that, that you'll put your heart into it. But have you ever been disappointed because you didn't win the prize? Maybe someone else did and you didn't win that time. Or maybe you didn't make it to class every day and so you couldn't get the perfect attendance award. I always feel really lousy when that happens. You know, today we're learning that God is different from the way that we usually think. You know, in so much of life, there's awards and special things like that. But God doesn't give out gold stars or blue ribbons or trophies. In fact, there isn't anything that you can do that'll make God love you more or any way that you could mess up that would make God love you less. That's what we're talking about today. The fact that you, just as you are today, are someone that God loves. That is the best prize that there is. So the next time that you maybe are disappointed that you didn't win a prize, or maybe you feel extra proud because you did, I want you to remember that no matter whether you win or you lose, God loves you so, so, so much, more than you can possibly ever imagine times infinity. Let's say a prayer together. Dear God, thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me no matter what. I love you too. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.